Um, but we've seen the liberal government tapping influencers, and we're now seeing departments using uh, marketing money to also tap influencers um, to deliver government messaging. Uh, I guess why pay influencers? W why do this? Um, I'm happy to offer a really general answer, which is um, it is really important for our government to be sure Canadians know what we are doing on their behalf. Um, we work for you guys and we work for all Canadians and the money that the Government of Canada invests is the money of Canadians. And so we are all really, really focused on talking to Canadians, on being out in person and talking to as many people as we can in person. Um, as you guys know, I used to be a journalist. Um, I still read two newspapers every day in print um, and take pictures of the articles that I share with people. Um, and I am a huge believer in the value of the work that all of you guys do, the work of professional salaried journalists. Um, we also recognize that a lot of Canadians get their information from other sources, and it's our responsibility to be sure that we are meeting Canadians where they are. I don't know if anyone else wants to venture an answer. Yeah. For, uh, when at the advent of uh, television, radio, and print, it took us a long time to understand uh, how to be able to see what was true and how to disseminate information. And uh, there was a great battle at that moment in time to define what was true. Uh, and there are forces in this world, uh, and you can look at Putin uh, as, as a prime example, uh, who are using media. modern technologies to, with bots and other ways to disseminate false information, um, to destabilize democracies by not allowing democratic countries to know what is and what isn't true. And so that is, a, uh, I think, an existential threat to democracy. Uh, and I think that when we're having conversations about what is true, uh, it's important that we find new ways to communicate to Canadians uh, where they are so that we can uh, be able to share uh, what the government is trying to accomplish and why it's, be, why it's doing what it's doing. It's just uh, babbling because, now. Uh, it's, a lie spreads very, very quickly. Um, the good news about a lie uh, when it spreads quickly is, is that once disproven, uh, that people start to get more suspicious generally of the information they consume. That's oh. what happened with print. That's what happened with radio. Uh, and that's what happens, and with, that's what happens with television. You to uh, and I think in the social media age, uh, we haven't yet to get to that equilibrium point. So I think as a government, it's incumbent upon us. And I think of the, uh, you know, the dental care plan where we're talking to providers or seniors or we're about to start, you know, those who are 18 and under. How do we get to those populations to let them know those services exist? to let them know how to navigate those services so that they can understand how they get the care that they need. And if we're not using alternative methods of communicating, then we're going to be failing to connect people to those services, and they're rightfully going to be upset that they didn't get the opportunity to avail themselves of. And I guess I'll just add, um, you know, I have four kids. All of us up here have kids, and we see that our newspapers on our kitchen counters are not getting read, read by our children. At least I do. <laughs> and I'll just say that this is, um, this is a time where the way in which media is, is consumed uh, is evolving. And we need to evolve with the times. So you need TikTok and certainly dancers. When I was <laughs> Minister of National Defense, we saw in numerous instances that misinformation and disinformation were creeping into our media, our systems across the country in, pri in the private and public sector were being hacked um, by cyber criminals. And so essentially, I don't think we should look at the use of the influencers media? in a silo. We should actually think about how, as a government, we are responding to the use of misinformation and disinformation to change the way in which people think. And in yesteryear, what was understood to be the truth 
was more objective. We are now in an era where people debate what is true. And in order to be in the realm of discussing the truth, we need to ensure that the work that we are doing in whatever portfolio is actually disseminated in an honest and clear way. And they want 16-year-olds to vote. So that Canadians can understand what their taxpayer dollars are paying for. 